Thank you for joining me for my Facebook series. This is for people who want to start a business Facebook page. I have a lot of clients that have been on Facebook for a while or maybe are not on Facebook and have heard, hey, it's a great idea to start a business Facebook page. And so this class is specially designed for them for a very basic get to the point, um, learn how to set up a business Facebook page. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe and let's get started. This is our Facebook business page for beginners and um, today we're going to look at some um, messaging that you can set up and use on your Facebook business page. Um, if you have a questions on setting up a business page, please see the link in the comments below. So we're going to start with, I'm going to jump up here to go on your page manager that from the page you created. Um, under page manager you scroll down to settings pick on settings and we're going to click on messaging we're going to talk about some messaging options here so there's lots of different sections that um, you can do in this messaging and what this happens is is so someone's is on your Facebook page and they want to send you a message through the page through Facebook Messenger there's a lot of different options you can do there, including starting a conversation. So I'm going to start up here with general settings and we'll jump to that session. And this says use the return key to send messages and that is turned on so you can turn it on. So um, now we're going to go to automated responses. It's the next section under general. So when someone sends you a message in Facebook Messenger to your business page, what happens next? What is there? Um, what happens? So there's a lot of different stuff in here and I just, um, so I'm going to hit edit the message. And you can set up automated responses or automated questions. So if this was, um, the gutter company that is the picture that I have in the um, I put it as a profile picture but we'll just use it for any construction business I could add the question and the question could be the question would be can I give you a gutter estimate today or something you know whatever you want the question to be I don't want it at all caps can we give you a estimate today for your gutters and then the automatic response would be if they said yes I need an estimate on something like that you could say please select the button below to be directed to our website let's just say that is an example okay so i've got the kind of give you a thing and my automated response you can have no automated response it says hi jane please select the button below to attach to our website now i'm going to add a button and the button label is get a quote and then from there, then I'm going to put the URL that does not go to the front page of my website, but actually goes to a quote form on the website. So um, you can give people choices. You can also message people, message people will be able to access this question throughout the conversation. So they can always come back to that question. If I turn this, yes, they can come back. So now I add another question. And I say, which type of gutter may I interest you and you can continue on down the line adding no response, adding a button, adding a picture. You could add a picture of different types of gutter that you had if you wanted to add a picture or an image there so you would add the image and continue on so that's how you could it could set it up so it would automatically pop up and people would start to see questions 
at the bottom of the Facebook page that would direct them and give them information at two o'clock in the morning when you're asleep, which is the most important thing here to remember. You might sleep. Um, they also have um, a variety of other things that you can add to your automated response. You can have instant reply messages turned on. You can, um, thank you for your message. Here's something, if somebody sends you, they can get this message instantly. This is, thank you for your message. We are away right now and can't respond. Thank you for reaching out to us. Please visit our website to request a quote etc etc so you can add in different messages there um, you can also include your contact information it's just interesting it if you leave frequently asked questions on the, the contact um, the, this won't toggle which is bizarre and location won't either it'll stay it stays off even if you um, have it on there so then they have a message confirmation that says, hey, I am for sure that I got your message. I'll get back with you. You can also have follow-up messages automatically go out if you get positive feedback, negative feedbacks. When somebody schedules an appointment, if you have an appointment scheduler um, and things like that. So you can set it up so that there's messages um, follow-up message that go out so um, and then if you when you have a message those messages will all come into this center so all of the messages will be here including your direct messages that come in on Instagram if you have an associated Instagram account so it's nice to be able to see all your messages that are directly related to to your page all in one place they also have a chat plugin this is nice because it allows you, let's pop it up here. It allows you to add a chat button to your website. So it would kind of look like what's behind the screen here. So I'm gonna say, yeah, I wanna add it to my website. I hit next and then send location, add domain and instant chat plug into your website, hit next. And then you, know, you have to go through this customization process and then hit the setup button and it, it is a little bit of a process to add it and it's going to go on this website and then you have to actually put this code right here into your website now depending on how your website is set up there's lots of different options in there but um, this is how you or you, there's also some plugins um, step by step instructions and how to add the chat plugin to your website builder like WordPress, Shopify, Wix, Square, and many others. So, this is the code. You have to have this exact code, or it won't put that chat app directly on your personal website. So, um, use, use all the features that are available on these pages because they can help you um, in a lot of different ways to. Um, to get more business and to make your, your page more interactive. So that is all found under the um, page manager. And if you go down to settings, those, that, those options are found under messaging. So um, take a look at all they do have to offer. There's quite a bit of fun stuff there and it's really worth it. Hi, I'm Misty and thanks for joining me for this video. If you like this and other videos with quick, simple answers, I try to get direct, try to get to the point and try to make the video short enough that you can learn the exact skill that you're looking for. If you're interested in those type of videos, please click that subscribe button below. And um, also there's a link down there to my website. I do private training um, for Chamber of Commerce, trade shows, small business groups, um, so if you need some private training, I also build WordPress websites. So click on my link below and I'm um, sure to follow my page for social media and WordPress related videos with short, simple answers. Thanks.